G'day and welcome to the Tech Math Channel. I'm Josh. This problem has stumped a lot of people. See if you can solve it. Three men go into a store and buy a radio, for which the clerk charges them $300. They split the cost, and so each man pays $100 each. And then the men take the radio and they leave. Later, the manager tells the clerk that he's overcharged the men and that the actual cost of the radio should have only been $250. He gives the clerk $50 and tells him to take it back to the men. So, on the way to returning the money, the clerk decides to cheat the men and he pockets $20 of the 50, returning $10 to each of the men. So, here's our problem. Each of the three men paid $90. That's $100, take away the $10 that got returned. And 3 times 90 is equal to 270. Plus, there's $20 that the clerk kept. 270 plus $20 is equal to $290. They paid $300 originally. Where did the other $10 go? Pause this video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready to see how to solve it, start it up again. So time's up. Did you manage to solve it? Or you couldn't work it out, maybe. Anyway, here's the solution. What happened to the other $10? So there are two ways that we can account for where the money has gone. The first way, let's start with the $300 that the men originally spent. So of this, $250 went towards the radio. The clerk, he pocketed $20 and each of the men got $10. So that's $30. And if we add all this together, 250 plus 20 plus 30, well, this actually adds up to 300. No problem there, right? The second way we can account for the money is by looking at the $270 the men actually spent, three times 90. So of this, $250 went to the radio, into the till of the person who sold the radio, and $20 went to the dodgy clerk who stole the money. 250 plus 20, once again, no problem. This adds up to $270. So what's the problem with this missing $10? So let's go back to the original problem that said the three men paid $90 each. Three times 90 is equal to 270, plus $20 the clerk pocketed equals $290. The problem that we have is this part here with that little phrase plus $20 that the clerk took. And this is deceptive because this should not be added, it should be subtracted. Since the $20 that the clerk took is part of the original 270 here. so. 270 take away 20, our answer would indeed be 250, which was the price of the radio. So there is no missing money. So another deceptive question, right? You guys are never going to trust me again. Thanks to Poria Yam Shitty for sending me this particular question. I hope I did it justice. Anyway, as usual, thank you for watching the Tech Math channel. Be sure if you like this video to give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want maths coming at you every single week from me. Anyway, take care and stay well. See you next time. Bye.